my name is Birdbrain, and we are still talking about particles. Yay! So we've learned how to create our particles, how to make them live, how to kill them, how to color them, how to make them move, how to adjust their speed, and now we're gonna learn how to make them bounce. And this is one of my favorite things to do with particles because I think it's hilarious. So let me have my fun and teach you about the wonderful art of using the bounce node. So first, as usual, if you want to use a new modifier, go get the documentation because it's super clear, super nice, and it teaches you about everything. So you see the bounce node is pretty simple, there's not much to say about it, but it's pretty fun. Now that we are more at ease, we also see that our tree is getting bigger and bigger, but it's okay because we know what things do and it's fun. So, what I'm gonna do is get a bounce node. So what does a bounce node do? It makes things bounce. So if I put it here and I press play, you're gonna see my particles are not gonna change at all. Because I don't have any region in it, so I'll have to put a region on it. But to make it even better, instead of having a wide array of particles like that, I'm gonna get my particles to be a bit more direct. So I'm gonna <laughs> use my planner region, I'm gonna shrink it, so that my particles are created from a smaller point, so that I have kind of a jet of particles. Oh my god, did you see that? It's barfing little particles at first. Oh, that's so cute. Oh my god. But yeah, I got my little uh, particle stream here. And uh, I'm gonna use that to test my bounce. By the way, if you didn't want to get this hot little thing falling down, this is where the particle baker and its uh, pre-roll would be useful, just saying. But I do like it, so I'm gonna leave it like that. Gonna get my bounce, gonna give it a planner region. You can do that with 3D region as well, I just feel like using a planner region, because I wanna show you something cool. You get your planner region, you get it to show up. Big rectangle is my bounce, small rectangle is my sprite emitter. And now for this one, I'm gonna give it a peg. And I'm gonna set that peg to 3D. Now, if you don't know how to use 3D stuff in Harmony, check out my other tutorials on the subject. I'm gonna link them into the description, but I don't have time to teach you about that today, so go do your homework. I'm gonna take my 3D peg, I'm gonna make my uh, things turn here, and I'm gonna go put it down a little bit. It's easier to use the perspective view to move your objects like that, just saying. I'm gonna go forward in time just to see where my particles are going, and I'm gonna block their path. So now that my panel is blocking their path, they're gonna bounce off my little panel. I might need to make it a bit bigger. And now you see I was at frame 10 or something, so I did put keyframes on my peg and my planner region and whatnot. So always make sure to check your frames every now and then and put them at the beginning. I always forget that I'm adding frames everywhere, so just saying. Now to edit how strong it is, this is where the little qualities you have here will be interesting. Depending on the friction, resilience, and cutoff speed, you can adjust how your particle bounces. Now, what do these parameters do? The friction is basically how slippery your surface is. So if you put a positive value, it's gonna create more friction, so it's gonna slow your particle down. So the higher the number, the slower it's gonna slide on it, if it slides. Well, right now it bounces, but sometimes it could also slide on your surface. It just depends on what you do. So higher the number, slower the slide. Uh, the resilience is how bouncy your particle will be, but if I put a positive value, it means that they're gonna bounce off. And you know, it's exponential, like it's very strong, so be careful, <laughs> you have been warned. Then the cutoff speed is kind of like, what is the arc that your particles is gonna bounce with? So if you put zero, uh, it means that it's just gonna bounce up in place. So if my particles were hitting a ground, for example, that was very straight, they would just bounce uh, vertically, but if I put a cutoff speed, it's gonna give them a little arc in how they move. You see? So if I put 5, it's gonna make a bigger arc than if I had 0 0.5. Okay, so this is the bounciness of your particles. It's very fun to play with. I hope that you uh, have fun with it. And if you really want to have fun with it, it's not with sparkles. You're gonna have to go into your node library and find the lemmings. Because the lemming is what we use to teach about the bounce node. So if you guys were wondering what the lemmings were in Harmony, the obscure node, <laughs> well, now you know. It's because each of these, if we explore the lemming scene, we have the lemming particle group. And in there you have the central block, the ground block, and the other block, whatever. If you take these and you ungroup them, like they should be, you're gonna have, oh, surprise, a peg, a region, and a bounce for each of them. So basically, each of them is one of these shapes, so either this one, this one, or this one. And if you press play, you're gonna see that your little lemmings are gonna go through life like this and fall down. Careful not to make your scene too long, however, because they're gonna fall to their doom. Where am I going? Brothers! And then they're just gonna fall. <laughs> this is kinda sad. <laughs> so if you wanna play with this scene, get your planner regions, get them to show up. Then go into 
perspective and you're gonna see a bunch of cool stuff. So you see that the background is 2D, but the regions are 3D and you can use those to play with your particles. So get the lemming scene, go play with these parameters and just have fun. And with that, I'm gonna see you again next week. Bye bye. Pow! 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 Out. Out. <laughs> <laughs>